Indigenous vegetables are a very good source of nutrition for the family. Leonida has been planting them for family use, but she'd like to sell them as well. Is she planting them correctly? To answer that, we brought in a sample to advise us and shape up her vegetable patch. Nasambu, I'm sure you've walked around the vegetable plot. Now tell us, what have you observed? My observation is that uh, the vegetable plots are poorly managed. I have seen a mixture of crop. I have seen some black nightshade, the cowpea, and also we have jutmalo, and we have amaranthus mixed up in the kelts. There has been no pest and disease control. They can only harvest about a quarter of the potential when they would have harvested more than six to ten kilos per week. Now, Leonida and Eric, you decided you're going to heap everything in one plot. Is that advisable? It is only advisable if you have planned it according to the recommendation. For example, you can have one row of kales and the next row of uh, cowpea mm -hmm. or even amaranthus. Now, let's go to the importance of indigenous vegetables. Why are they important? They have been used by our forefathers for centuries. And most of the elder people that have lived longer, even up to 100 years, when you ask them, they have been consuming the African indigenous vegetable. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference between skuma wikis and spinach compared to indigenous vegetables? The African indigenous vegetables have more than 10 times the nutrient compared to the kales. We have amaranthus. When you look at a protein, it's more than the cabbage or kales. When you look at calcium, it's very high. Then iron is 10 compared to only 4. But beta carotene is very high and vitamin C, which is also very important for the body. It is 137.8 compared to only one. Now, let's go to cooking. Do you cook the same way? No, the traditional vegetables are cooked differently from the kales. The best way of preparing them is you wash them nicely with clean water. You wash twice, then the third is you rinse. And having rinsed the vegetables, use the same water to steam for about 5 to 15 minutes. Once you've done that, you can use cream from milk. That will be very good. You can cook separately or you mix. And that will be very good for the children. I like that. Uh -huh. And these vegetables are mainly good to boost the body immunity, especially for the children under 5 years, for the elderly and the vulnerable. Especially some that may be suffering from HIV AIDS. Yes. Now, how the disease control and the management, also the fertilizers and manure, all that? Once you have planted your crop, then you make sure that they should not have any weeds. They grow very fast and they compete for the nutrients. So make sure you don't leave any weeds in your plot. Secondly, you control the pests and the diseases. Ensure that your plot is clean. When it's clean, it will rarely be attacked by the pests and the diseases. But if you notice any pests and diseases, then use the recommended pest site.